Hi guys, welcome to another Chum of Addy Maths tutorial. Mr. Gordon here. Um, I'm going to be looking at factorising quadratics and I'm going to be looking at in particular quadratics where the number in front of the x squared is bigger than 1. Okay, so let's just familiarise ourselves with the general form of a quadratic. They normally come in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and sometimes they're equal to 0 if you need to solve them. But for these ones, I just want to factorise. So I'm not going to solve them. I'm not going to worry about the equals zero bit. I'm just going to be factorising this quadratic here. And the method I've got here is called the five-step method. And it's so easy to follow. Honestly, I love this method so much. It's really worth learning, especially if um, for sort of A, A-star, GCSE factorising, and definitely for A-level factorising. So let's just have a quick look at it. The first step says... Step one, find AC. Well, that is very straightforward. Such an easy thing to do. Where's A? A is in front of the X squared, so that's 7. Where is C? Well, that is the number on the end. That's a plus 10. So AC is 7 times 10, and that is going to give me 70. So we've done step one already, just a times table. Moving on to step uh, two. It says find factors of AC that sum to give B. Well, what is the B number, the B coefficient, the number in front of X? Well, if you look here, I've got minus 37. So we need to find factors of 70 that make minus um, 37 when you add them together. So I'm thinking of 70, and I know there's, well, 1 times 70, um, 2 times 35. And 2 times 35 does give me 37, but it gives me a positive 37. So if I had 2 and 35, and I made them both negative, well, a minus times a minus is a plus, and that still adds up to minus 37. So those are the two factors that I need. So I wrote those two factors down in my workings box. 70 can be split up into minus 35 um, times minus 2. And those two factors, they will sum or add up to give me the beta minus 37. Okay, so again, nothing too difficult there. Finding factors, not a very high level skill. So then we can move on to step three, which says split the B term. So I've got to rewrite this equation with the B term split up into the two factors that I found, the minus 35 and the minus two. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we go. I've rewritten the quadratic. So I've got my seven X squared. The B term is now written in two separate terms. I've split the minus 37x up into minus 35x and minus 2x because that still makes minus 37x so I can rewrite it like that and then put the plus 10 on the end. So we're almost we're over halfway here. We've done step one, find AC, that was 70. Step two, find the factors of AC that give B. Well we did that minus 35 and minus 2. Split though the B term up into these two factors that we found. So we, re we rewrote the quadratic with the two new um, factors that we found. And then step four just says factorise the first two terms. Because I've got four terms here, haven't I? One, two, three, four. Factorise the first two together. Then factorise the second two together. And this is like grade D factorising because we only need one bracket here, don't we? So let's have a look. Factorising the first two terms. Well, I can pull out a 7x from both terms. So I put the 7x outside in blue. And what would be left? Well, 7x times what is 7x squared? I just need an x. And 7x times what is minus 35x? I just need a minus 5. So that is the first two terms factorised. Now I've got to do the second two terms. Now, let's have a look at what factors go to minus 2x and plus 10. Well, 2 is the only obvious factor that goes into both. But if I factor out a 2, I'll be left with minus x plus 5. And if you look ahead to step 5, I need a repeated bracket because that is my first factor. And that's not going to leave me with what's called a repeated bracket because I'll end up with an x, a minus x plus 5. And that's not what I've got in the bracket here. So I don't factor out 2. What could I factor out? Well, if I factor out a minus 2, then I'll pull out a minus 2 and I'll be left with x. And if I pull out a minus 2 from here, well, minus 2 times what gives me 10? Well, it's going to be minus 5. So I will be left with x minus 5 inside the bracket. So let's just go over that again. I factored out a minus 2 because I wanted the same bracket twice. I wanted a repeated bracket. 
And that repeated bracket is my first actual factor. That's my first bracket. So I'd write that down here. And to get the second bracket, it just says the remainder. So what is left outside? The blue bits are the second bracket. So it looks like this when you finish. You just write down your repeated brackets, your first solution, your first factor, sorry, and then put whatever's left, the blue bits here, into the second bracket. And that is it factorised. So what I want you to do now really is, as I've sort of gone through that quite quickly, have a go at a question. I'll leave the method up. Have a go at factorising this. Pause the video, come back, and then we'll go through it. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at this question. Let's see how you did. So step one, find AC. Well, A is 24, C is 2, times those together, and we're going to get 48. What factors of 48 make 19? All of these terms are positive. So I know I'm not going to get any negative um, factors here. So what two positive to, um, factors of 48 add up to 19? Well, hopefully you managed to list all the factors and find... 16 and 3 were the ones you were looking for, and then we're on to step 3. So split the B term up. We're going to rewrite this whole thing again, but with the 19T split up into 16T and 3T from the factors that we found. So here we go. I've, I've, I've done that now. Split the B term up, and then we're on to step 4. Factorise the first two terms. Again, grade D factorising. Just factorise these first two terms into a single bracket, and that will look like this. 8t goes into both, so you factor that out, and you'll be left with 3t plus 2. Now, when it comes to factorising the second two, remember, you've always got your eye on a repeated bracket, so you need to get 3t plus 2. Well, I've already got 3t plus 2, so what should I factor out of this? And the answer that we need to sort of recognise is we need to factor out a 1, a positive 1. So when we've done that, it looks like this. There we've got our plus 1 outside and our, three, our repeated bracket, 3t plus 2, there. The repeated bracket, well, that's our first solution, and the remainder outside, so these bits that are left behind once we've done that, will be our, sec our second bracket, okay? I hope that helps, and I hope you can follow that method. I promise you, it's really handy when you come on to harder factorising questions, so well worth learning.